Have you ever wondered what makes a serious situation suddenly turn humorous in literature? It's a technique known as bathos, a literary device that involves an abrupt transition from the exalted to the commonplace, producing a ludicrous effect. While often unintended, bathos can be used deliberately to produce a humorous effect. Bathos originates from the Greek word bathos, which means depth. It was first used in this sense by Alexander Pope in his treatise, Peribathus, or Of the Depth, published in 1734. In this work, Pope satirizes bad writing, particularly the lofty, grandiose style of his contemporaries. He criticizes their use of elevated language to describe trivial or commonplace subjects, which results in a comedic effect. Bathos made its way through the centuries, being used by different authors in various forms. It was a common feature in the works of the Romantic poets of the early 19th century, such as Lord Byron, who used it to mock the sentimentality and grandiloquence of their predecessors. In the early 20th century, bathos became a staple in the works of American writers like F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway. They used it to highlight the disillusionment and hollowness of the post, World War I era, often contrasting the grand ideals of the past with the grim realities of the present. Bathos is used for various purposes in literature. It can be used to create a comedic effect, to satirize or mock a subject, or to highlight the disparity between what is expected and what is. It produces a jarring effect on the reader, causing them to question their initial perceptions and assumptions. For instance, in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, the tragic death of Jay Gatsby is followed by the mundane detail of his father, showing Nick a schedule that Gatsby had made as a boy. This abrupt switch from the tragic to the commonplace is a classic example of bathos. In conclusion, bathos is a powerful literary device, capable of evoking a wide range of emotions and reactions. It originated in the 18th century as a tool for satire, and has evolved over the centuries to become a versatile tool in literature. Whether it's used for comedic effect to satirize a subject or to highlight the disparity between expectations and reality, bathos continues to be a vital part of storytelling.